Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to select a color in Adobe Premiere Pro and then isolate that color so you only have this color in the shot. So if you see, and so what I'm choosing is this red right here. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into effects and we're gonna go to leave color. And so this is gonna be the basis of our effect. When we drop this on here, what we're gonna do is we are going to then go up to the effect controls. So click on this and then go up to effect controls. Then we're going to click on this right here, the eyedropper, and we're just gonna grab our red here. And you can actually, if we click on the eyedropper right here, you can hold the control key, the left control key to make this a big dropper. And what that does is look at this right now, see that, that color changing. So when I go over, it's micro changing the color to everything. Now, if I hold this, you'll notice that it doesn't change that much because now it's taking a really large average of colors and that's what we want. We don't want it to go through these micro changes where it's gonna select you know, the right side and not the middle or whatever. We want it to select the most middle color in this life jacket. So once we have it right around the center, we're holding this button, let's click it. And now it's selected that color. And then now we can go ahead and drag this all the way up to 100, or you can you know, back it off the effect a little bit where it's just gonna pop some. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it up to 100, and you'll see that we have some bad little sort of, um, I guess you could call it like artifacting around the edges. It just didn't select those colors, so it thinks that they are not a part of our color. So what we can do is we can actually increase the tolerance right here. Uh, actually, the, let's go with the edge softness first. This is going to soften the these jagged lines and probably fill in a little bit more. So what we can do is, actually, first off, Let's change this to hue. And right off the bat, that did massive <laughs> differences. So RGB is using RGB values to try to find the similar colors, while hue just uses everything in the color range around there. So I like to use hue a lot because it does work um, pretty well for standing out colors like this. However, sometimes RGB works. So just toggle between the two before you start messing with these and see which works better. Now though, we can give it a, just a little bit of softness here, and it's gonna help soften the edges of this and make this less harsh. Um, it doesn't look like it's doing a lot, but if you like move back and forward, it just changes it just ever so slightly, and it does sort of make the effect, I think, more appealing. Now, we can also change the tolerance right here, and that's going to change um, how large of the selection. So this is like our center of the color, and the tolerance is going to extend on each side into more and more colors. So it's at 15% now. If we bring it up to 100, it's basically the entire color line so everything's going to come back into color bringing it down and you see that slowly the blues go out really really quickly and then suddenly there's only the oranges left and then we can keep bringing it down and then it just sort of focuses down and now only the orange next to red is left which means like skin tones and maybe like the orange on the trees from the sun so what we want to do is we want to actually bring it up to about 15 where we're right in that range but we only want this in focus